Thanks, Marilyn, for asking where I publish my videos on TikTok, YouTube, or where. I publish them in three places. Chiefly, I do Facebook Live videos and Instagram Live videos. Uh, I do live videos because it helps me with my perfectionism. If I pre-record videos, I, I need at least three takes, sometimes 10 takes, and I'm still not satisfied. And there's always the danger for me like, well, I could do one more take. It'll, it'll be better at the 11th take, and I could say that forever. So I, I know myself well enough to say, no, 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 I get one take. Constructive living, no matter how I feel, it's the, it's the one take that's going to be, that's going get, to get out there. And I'm going to practice not deleting it. I practice that so much now. I have so much embarrassing videos out there. I, you can't even believe it. But there, I, have, I have over a thousand, well over a thousand videos published on Facebook and YouTube. Probably at least 10% of them are genuinely embarrassing. Like, like if I got famous, someone would cancel me over some of these videos kind of thing, right? But it's out there. And if I'm not afraid of death, I'm not afraid of being canceled, you know, socially. So, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so, so um, no, I, I don't thankfully talk about politics, so I'm not going to get canceled in that way. But someone might go, George, what you said, that was cringeworthy. Um, at least 10% of my videos are cringeworthy and it's still out there. Anyway, that's why I do Facebook Lives um, because I know myself and I need to do that um, to, to make sure it still stays up there. You can always delete Facebook Lives, but that's dangerous, right? Because then you're, you're in reinforcing self-doubt. And I rebel against self-doubt because I'm like, this ego is really nothing. It's just ego. And so I rebel against the, the egoic self-doubt and go, it's okay if I'm embarrassed. It's okay if it's cringeworthy. It's okay if I get canceled one day and I get start over from three people who don't mind my cringeworthy stuff. And then I'll grow to six people and then grow to 10 people. It doesn't matter how much someone gets canceled or, or embarrassed. You can grow again, right? That's, that's the faith that I've kept. And it's true. And it's, and it's served me well. And ironically, this video is turning into a canceling, canceling, cancel culture type video. Like no matter how much you get canceled or, or, or you post cringeworthy stuff out there, the irony is that by allowing that stuff out there, you grow the muscles of self-empowerment. You grow the muscles of authentic empowerment and authentic voice. You grow the muscle of being, I can be whatever the fuck I want on the internet. Yes, it's going to piss off or you know, turn off 10%, 80%, I don't know, however many people. But the interesting thing is I get stronger, I get more authentic, I get more powerful and the 10 or 20% or 80% who stick around are much more raving fans. So I've chosen that path, you know, um, as opposed to the path of always making sure I'm perfect. Oh my God, that video. Oh, I got to edit that part out. Oh my God, that was cringeworthy. Oh, that was embarrassing. I said that, or I said it in that way, or my face was like this. I got to edit that part out. God, how, how much self-doubt you're going to reinforce with all that editing? Seriously? You, how much editing you're going to do? How much time is that, does that take? So much time. No, I'm like, forget that. I'm not going down that dark path because then you keep reinforcing the perfectionism. I, I, I know I would. I know that's a very dark path for me. So I'm like, I'm going to go down this other dark path <laughs> of, of being openly, publicly embarrassed uh, frequently. And my, my skin is like this thick. Now you can't see it. My, my actual skull is this small, this small, and this, the rest is my thick skin. So, uh, and it's, it's powerful and it feels powerful. It really, and there's also the danger of the ego there too, right? This ego has on both sides, like eating away at us. So, but I, I, uh, I surrendered to that because, um, uh, anyway, now I'm going to get into all the woo-woo spirituality, but it's like, I don't believe in death. I, I'm not afraid of death. So it's like, yeah, this thing's going to die. This thing is going to die. So, um, but what's going to stay is hopefully the messages that will impact part, a, a tiny part of humanity for decades, thousand millennia to come. Right. So, so, <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I'm going to end this particular segment. I'll, I'll answer the other question about, um, about the technicalities of it.